My brother Fresh Home after doing the cold motherfucking 16, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk to you about that and tell you youngsters why you should keep your asses up out the way if you ain't ready to pay after your play. You feel me? Because it's a price. So look, it's the price. Look at that. Okay, how old was you when they say, because I know you have been to the joint before that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we can touch on that, but see, a 16 walk off, that is, that's some shit, my nigga. You did it. I mean, when they told you, how old was you? 29 years old when I caught that case. 29. Took the deal at 32 years old. Three years later, took the deal. So you fought it for three years in the county. Who in a nasty Fresno County. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. What, would they, what did they get you for? They got me for an armed robbery. Armed robbery. Fuck. Yeah. Did you expect to get so much time? Uh, hell no. Nah. Matter of fact, you know what? I got two years for the robbery. <laughs> two years for the robbery. That's it. I got five years for an old robbery that I got felony probation on. Fuck. And I got 10 years for having a gun. And all I did was pull my shirt up and show the butt of the gun. They don't even know it was a real gun. Oh, man. So you never pulled the blammy on him and he just showed him the butt. They got 10 years for that. Damn. Yeah, so I got, I got a total of 17 years. Total of 17. Unexpected, though. How did that feel when they told you 17? Did, was it something you had to plead? Oh, I know you had to plead to it, but when they say, hey, man, this thing ain't getting no better than that. Yeah, it was either that or, you know, go to the box and fight and go get that 31. And get that 31, you know, so I went ahead and took that deal because they had me a dead bang. But uh, <clears throat> after the little time that I had did in the past and knowing how it went, I was like 16 years. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to make it in 16 years. I'm going to go in there and revive or I ain't going to make it home. So you went, home. Case, you went in shit. at 29 with the mindset, I'm not even coming home. Well, it wasn't until I really had to. It wasn't really until I was about 31 that I realized they're not coming down no more. 30, 30, oh, year. 31. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so, about 31 years old when I realized, you know what? I'm going to have to jump on this deal. Wow. Pushed it out a whole another year. And then, uh, and then my whole mindset was, I ain't going to come home. So, anything go. What are we doing? Straight up. Off top. Instant activity. First day in the jump. What, what, you know what I mean? Touch down where you hit, where you land. Well, I still first. Everybody got to go. You got to go for what, the 90 day observation? No, no, no. 90 don't day do that. is when, you, when you're young, catch a bullshit case, and they, and they might want to give you two years or 16 oh, okay. months. So you go up there for a 90 day op. If you go up there on some bullshit, you're going to get that. You're going to come back to court and do that time. If you go up there and just be cool and come back, they might be like, all right, we're going to give you probation and you can go home. So to a youngster who ain't never been to the pit, he out here thugging. What could he expect? Would they? Would he? Would he go in there? Would, would, hey, nigga, I got seventeen. OG, I'm finna go. You in the county? You looking at this youngster? He you at twenty nine, and he said, "I got seventeen. What you? What you telling? Okay, well, let me just tell you this. My little son right now fighting murder. Wow. He just took a deal three weeks ago for fifteen to life. Wow. Well, the bullshit ass attorney that Pretty he got. Good. They was trying to give him forty to life. That's 15 for the murder, 25 to life for the gun. So he said, get the gun off, and I'll take the 15. Damn. So the lawyer lied and said, I'm going to get you that. So when we go to court and he go to take the deal, he get up in front of the judge, and the judge said, okay, you're taking a 40 year to life lead, which means that's the max we can give you. But that wasn't the deal. So I had to ask his attorney, why you do that? He said, we just got to word it like that. Now you're playing. You're playing. So we you're trying to wash him. him. Yeah, you're trying to wash him. It's the same deal that y'all been trying to give him. He don't want that. He said, give him the 15 with the hell. He'll run with that. Because nowadays, law done changed so much. Back in the days, Black Panthers, Crips and Bloods, Originals in the uh -huh. 80s was getting seven to life. Right. They still down so, or dead. But nowadays, they can't do that. They can give you two denials for three years each. You just got to get your shit together. So you gotta get get that. Together, gotta let you go. Yeah. Yeah. But he taking the deal back because the attorney lied, so we're gonna go ahead and fight it. We're gonna go to the box because he so didn't do it anyway. Free KJ. Yeah. Free KJ, straight up, straight up. Man, damn, bro. Oh, oh, so, so the question was, my bad. What, no, was, no, was, free KJ, but straight up. Hell yeah, we we here to elaborate yeah. on all that. What would you what would you tell a young a young Ruski, man? You know what I mean, yourself back then. After you going through the stress and now you see your young self before you going in, like, you know, KJ, what what you tell young? Man, go up in there and learn all you can. Don't worry about nobody else. Get you a nice workout partner, you know what I'm saying? Stay out the goddamn way. Find out a way to make some money. You can learn how to draw. You can learn how to make 
picture frames or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Find out what the yard wants and provide it for them. And you can make your money like that because you got to eat. You can't eat the shit they provide because that shit bullshit. Find it's out bullshit. what the yard wants. Find a way to create it. Sell that shit. Stay out the way. If you, whatever, whoever you run with, you won't have to push with, you know, push your line with your tribe. Yeah. Stay down. Do what's right. Always do what's right. Don't go with the, with the crowd. Go with what you believe in. That part. You want to have an answer to that. So if your homies is on some bullshit, stand firm on what you believe in. And okay, I'm saying that. How hard is it going to be to stand on what you believe in if you go against the tribe? Oh. Like, say you're going in. <laughs> he said hard. It's, it's going to be hard. It's but hard. time is hard regardless, though. So, but that's going to make it extra hard. Yeah. If you're standing alone, they like, nigga, we, we, we on this movement. You're going to be on X, Y, and Z. Nigga, I know a brethren from the streets, and we don't fuck with him, but that's your brethren out, you know, from the streets, and you got to get on that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, man, I don't believe it. I'm, I'm cool. Then what's happening? They finna get on you. But if it's going to be me and him against y'all, then that's just what it's going to be. Yeah. However y'all coming, that's how we are going to approach it. Right. You might strike first. The best thing to do is just, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna learn, you know what I'm saying, what is and what ain't real fast. And what is and what ain't is what you do and what you don't do. You got to know that because if you're going to push for what you believe in, then you got to push hard because other niggas in there pushing hard too. Ain't no pussies in there. They going to weed it out early. Straight up. Straight they up. weed it out early. You know, <coughs> you weed it out later, they just get weeded out a little harder because you're going to make up. it to a place where you know it's going to go bad. 